State Orange Theory Westland, Coach Alexa here. Uh, new recipe of the week it is mac and cheese, but with a little bit of a different twist. So, something that most of us grew up on, it's a delicious meal, but how we're going to change it is to add a little bit more protein, a little bit healthier grain, and cut out the cheese and make our own little dairy substance. So, what we're going to do is I got a brown rice noodle. You can find it in the ethnic section of the gro grocery store. Um, any grocery stores have them. So I'm boiling the brown rice noodles. You could also do quinoa noodles as well. So I'm boiling those spiral noodles in here. Uh, at the beginning of the week, I pre-cooked up a bunch of turkey burger. I have four ounce, about four ounces here. You could also use grilled chicken, you can use salmon, whatever meat that you think would go good in there. Um, also some very lean steak would be good in there too. I have some shriveled up, not shriveled, but torn up spinach and then also some fresh mushrooms that I'm going to be throwing inside the pot as well. So whatever amount of vegetables you think is good. I would say no less than a cup of each. Uh, just if you're especially if you're making it in bulk, you just want a lot of vegetables in there. But if you want to go a little bit over than that, that's fine. So instead of cheese, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of a base. So I have one cup almond milk here. So I'm just going to pour that in, and then I'm going to do two tablespoons of spicy hummus. You can use whatever flavor of hummus you want. So just measure it out to about two tablespoons. Okay. So then we're going to add some thickness here. I have an avocado, and since I'm making this for two people, I added a whole one. If you're making it for just yourself and you're going to have a couple of meals out of it, maybe do a half if you're trying to lose weight, if you're active, and you have multiple meals planned. A whole is fine. You can check with Coach Sean uh, depending on your activity level if you're worried about how much you should be putting in. And we like a little bit of heat in this house, so I have a cut up Serrano. I'm going to throw them in there. You do not have to do that if you don't want to. So I'm just going to grind this up. It grinds up pretty nice. Uh, if you like thicker, then I would do less liquid, um, but I kind of wanted it a little bit more melty-ish. So I have that ready to go. Now that my noodles are done boiling, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this spoon, and I'm going to stir in the veggies and the meat. So just stir that right in, and then I'm going to let those simmer a little bit, just bring a little bit of heat to the vegetables, especially uh, anything that's like a mushroom, a tomato, or a carrot, when you put a little heat on it, it rises the nutrients out of the vegetables so they're more readily absorbed into your system. So I'm just going to do that just for about two minutes because you don't want to overcook them because then you lose all your nutrients. My pre-cooked meat already here. I'm also just going to pour that in there. I'm just going to let that all heat up together just to get all the flavorings in. So once I am done with all that, I'm going to put this in a strainer. So after about two minutes, I'm going to put it in a strainer, get rid of all the liquid. And then I'm going to put the noodles, the meat, the spinach, and the mushrooms back in the pan. And I'm going to fill the pan with this liquid and cook it all together, and then you have a couple of mac and cheeses for your week. All right, have a good day.